This is a painting of a battle between the British East India Company forces and the Kingdom of Mysore, led by Colonel William Bailey on one side and Tipu Sultan on the other, in Polelore near Kanchipuram, Tamil Nadu. It was the worst defeat dealt to the British in India till then. A cursory glance at the painting will reveal why the British suffered such heavy losses. It was the rockets. One of them had landed in Colonel Bailey's ammunition stores, contributing to the rout. Whether they are used to send satellites into space or used by countries to terrorize each other, all rockets in the world can be traced to those used during the wars in Mysore. Tipu Sultan was a technology buff, learned in science and mathematics. He improved upon the rocket technology used by his father, Haider Ali. The use of rockets had been around for a long time. The Chinese are recorded to have used them in the 13th century and the Europeans in the 14th and 15th centuries. But the Mysorean rockets were much more advanced as they used iron cylinders to store the propellant, instead of bamboo and paper that the Chinese and Europeans were using. Tipu's rockets consisted of an iron tube 6 cm wide and 20 cm long, attached to a 3 meter long sword or bamboo. While some would burst in the air, others with their swords attached would slice through enemy lines like a flying scythe. Use of iron enabled higher bursting pressure, leading to higher thrust and longer range. Tipu had a corp of 5,000 rocketeers who could launch them rapidly using a wheeled cart. However, despite his rocket wizardry, Tipu wasn't that lucky in the 4th Anglo-Mysore War. This time, the British army led by Arthur Wellesley was able to breach Tipu's citadel of Srirangapatna. Ironically, because of a pile of rockets that exploded inside the fort from an English cannon shot. After Tipu was killed, the British took back with them 600 launchers, 700 usable rockets and 9,000 empty shells that they found in the fort. Two of them can still be seen at the Royal Artillery Museum in London. In England, an inventor by the name William Congreve adapted the Mysorean technology and came up with the Congreve rocket. These rockets would go on to win Britain the Napoleonic Wars, help in the bombardment of Copenhagen and lead to the fall of Washington in the Anglo-American War of 1812. While Tipu Sultan's legacy in India is a complex one, there's no doubt he was the original rocket man.